wanted to take a second and give some feedback and insight into uh, the details of what I'm trying to cover with uh, pre-framing drills and how that should look. So the flyer that I presented for you guys should give you the basic outline and alongside this video should give you all the details that you need in order to be able to structure drills effectively for students and athletes. So pre-framing is great because what it does for us is lets our students and athletes know what our expectations are for each respective drill and for each respective training session. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but you should know that at the outset of every session, what we should do is outline all of the expectations for our participants over the course of that training session. So um, when we're starting a class, we'll let them know, hey, we're going to be doing heavy bag work, and then we're going to go um, review your form skill, cover some applications, and then we'll finish today with sparring. Something like that really quick that lets them know as we move step by step, and if you have a visual schedule or an aid that can help them go along, that's even going to be uh, a step above. But if nothing else, let them know from the beginning. And then as you're moving along, hey, we finished our heavy bag work. What's next? And you can do the same thing with any kind of practice session you're running. Hey, we're going to do some warm-up conditioning, and then we're going to drill some footwork, and then we're going to scrimmage, and then we'll finish with this fun game. Might be a nice way to think about running a basketball or a soccer session. Whatever your sport is, you're going to want to make sure that your athletes and your participants, especially younger ones, know what to expect over the course of the session. And then on a drill on a drill by drill basis, you want to make sure that we're identifying the three D's: detail, demonstrate, and then drill. Now what that means is every time that we're going to go through an exercise with the students, we tell them what they're going to be learning and we demonstrate what it should look like and what it should not look like. And then we give them ample time to review the skill. And that's where divide, disguised repetition becomes an important element. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in another clip. Now, those three D's are also tied into and reinforced by three E's or three elements and three uh, core concepts that should support each one. So when we're talking about the detail, what we're really doing there is educating the student. Now you need to make sure that that's level appropriate, age appropriate, and is something that matches what they are able to take away from the drill. When we're looking at demonstrations, they should energize the students. So make sure that the demonstration is performed at a high level and make sure that it motivates the student. Bam, I want to be able to do that. Okay, so if you're not feeling up to it that day, and yeah, maybe, um, you know, body sore or whatever, choose a great student or a great athlete on your team who you know is going to be able to motivate. Someone has that natural leadership ability, or if you know a shy student who, is, who you know possesses a talent for this particular ability, it's a great opportunity to have them step up and shine a little bit. And then finally, the last one is empower. And really that's what we're all about is we want to be able to build good athletes. We want to build good students. We want to build, um, you know, a future generations uh, to kind of follow along and, you know, reinforce and help our respective sports or pastimes to grow. So we want them to have that sense of empowerment and to have a strong positive association. And the only real way that they're going to get that is by drilling. And we all know that repetition is the mother of skill. They need to be out there with ample time to practice the technique. And that's going to vary from student to student and from athlete to athlete until they get a full sense of ownership for the technique or the skill that they're trying to learn through the drill. It is uh, a really uh, undesirable outcome for an athlete to leave a drill or to leave a training session not feeling like they've made progress in that respective skill or to not even know what they were supposed to take away from that drill. So if you want longevity out of your students, empowerment is going to be the key element. As they see themselves improving, as they see themselves growing, they're going to have a strong positive association with participation in the activity or in the training type or the sport, whatever it is that you're giving them. So that's the uh, three D's and the three E's. Detail, demonstrate, drill, and then how they're wedded together with educate, energize, and empower. Take a look over the brochure or the, sorry, the flyer that I gave you and see if you can't reconcile some of those concepts. And then hopefully we'll get together soon and have more opportunity to discuss these things. Thanks.